You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. The special envoy of the chair of ASEAN on Myanmar, Deputy Prime Minister Praksakon, has released a statement welcoming the recent mass release of prisoners by the State Administrative Council of Myanmar. EAC News reporter Dekanin has further details. According to the statement, the special envoy considers this must release an important gesture in the right direction to create a conducive environment for the commencement of a dialogue process among all concerned parties in Myanmar. It is a sign of goodwill in pursuing a peaceful solution to the current crisis and the positive development in line with the spirit and aspiration of the five-point consensus reached at the ASEAN leaders' meeting on 24th of April 2021, said the special envoy. The statement added that the special envoy's earlier planned third visit to Myanmar will be conducted in the coming weeks to further pursue the efforts made since the beginning of Cambodia's chairmanship of ASEAN to assist Myanmar's return to normalcy and a democratic path. It is hoped that more progress can be achieved on the three priorities of the five-point consensus, namely ending violence, facilitation of humanitarian assistance delivery, and building trust and confidence for an inclusive peace dialogue, read the statement. Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has also thanked the 2022 ASEAN Chair and all ASEAN member states for urging the Myanmar military government to release Australian Professor Sean Turnall, who was one of the prisoners released this week. Speaking at a press conference in Mangka on Thursday, Prime Minister Albanese said, I do want to thank, as well as our ASEAN friends, in particular Prime Minister Hun Sen of Cambodia, who has chaired ASEAN and has kept the pressure on. Our friends here in Thailand as well, including the Prime Minister but our other friends in ASEAN who have been so consistent about the need to release Professor Turnall. Myanmar state media reported on Thursday that its military leaders had granted amnesty to Sean Turnall, Australian economist and former pro-democracy advisor of Aung San Suu Kyi, along with nearly 6,000 other prisoners in order to celebrate a national holiday. Former British envoy Vicky Bowman and her husband were among those released, along with American Kyo Tai-woo and Japanese filmmaker Toru Kubota. Dekanin, EAC News.